Hello, and welcome to the first ever edition of TV Lull. I'm Kyle. I'm Noah. And this, and this is, is Lull Live. In this show, we'll be covering all the school events, doing some announcements, and we also have a lot of fun segments we hope you guys will enjoy. Today's date is April 12, 2019, and our top story is the Lull Talent Show. Last Friday night, SBC presented the Lull Idol Talent Show. There was a variety of acts, such as a Trump impersonation speech by Albert Jiang, original magic tricks by Tatum Valentine Wagner, and a surprise beatboxing by Harold Davis. All 20 acts showed incredible talent. However, the judges could only choose three acts to be Lowell's top idols. Third place was Lola Miller's original song, Your Name. Second place was Hip Hop Club featuring Breakers Alliance Legacy 2 performance. And Lowell's top idol was Angelica Lowe and Tyler Lee's ballroom dancing. Here's a part of their performance. <laughs> As you probably already know, our principal, Mr. Ishibashi, is retiring this year in order to take care of his family. Mr. Ishibashi has graced the Lowell community for 11 years, and we're sad to see him go. What most people don't know is that Mr. Ishibashi has lived an incredible life before and during his time at Lowell. We at Lowell Live made a Draw My Life story as a tribute and thank you. Here's episode one. Do you remember Globefest? Although there was a little rain, all the language classes and clubs went out to share a piece of their heritage and culture. These include the food each language department was selling, such as French crepes, Japanese takoyaki, and Chinese chow mein. All the money went to help the World Language Department with funding. There were also cultural performances, such as Lion Dance Me's Bench Routine, and the Burmese Club's Cultural Dance. Here's a part of the Koreans' Coax dance performance. clubs and performers were great and everyone had a fun time. All right, so here we're going to be talking about the question of the week, which is shower thoughts. Did I hear shower thoughts? Oh, Igor Bessa, everyone. Hello. I guess I'll ask you, what is the weirdest or craziest shower thought you've ever had? Okay, so you have a room, right? And say you paint the wall of that room, you're pretty much adding a layer to that room, which means every time you paint it, it's going to get smaller. Wow. Whoa, whoa, boy. So you're saying if you paint the room like thousands of times, it will eventually just shrink? Pretty much, yeah. So there will be, there will be like no more room left. Yeah. So like, how many layers would it take until there's no more room? Let's find out. Well, I'm down. Whoa, 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 whoa. you still got your. <laughs> All right. Earlier in the week, we went throughout the school to ask you guys this question. Here are some of the responses. Okay, so what's the weirdest or craziest shower thought you've ever had? 
Okay, this is really, really weird, but when I was in the shower about three weeks ago, I was thinking of my bioengineering project, and I was like, what if you could create an avocado that never ripens? So that it lives forever. It's like such a San Franciscan thing. But I feel like I'm yeah. That? Yes, obviously. <laughs> it's like one of the most <laughs> very it's a very pressing issue. <laughs> Food waste, you know? The only type of potato that your stomach ever knows is a mashed potato. Yeah. Oxygen is poisonous and it takes seventy to a hundred years to kill you. Goose, there's one goose, plural is geese, right? So, by that logic, if you have one moose, plural moose should be meese. And also, if you have plural sheep, one sheep should be shoop. If you were in a room full of mirrors and nothing else is in there, what would you see in the mirror? So now we're going to talk about the testing schedule. Alright, so, it's 8,980,624,006 layers to paint an entire room till there's no more room left. It's good to know. Thanks. All right, I continue. It. Anyway, um, how is um, the first week of the SBAC testing schedule? As a reminder, next week is going to be the same schedule. Monday and Friday are neutral, and Tuesday through Thursday are two-hour walks. Make sure you don't come late on Monday. For a final story, we'd like to take you back to Black History Month last February. The Black Student Union put on an event to bring awareness to Lowell's Black community and the diverse culture within it. BSU had a lot to put together with singing, stepping, dancing, and a fashion show. They started in December last year, and all of that hard work paid off in the performances, and everyone did a good job. Here's a part of Hannah Deji singing Feeling Good. about it for our first ever edition of Lowell Live. Once again, I'm Kyle. And I'm Noah. If you enjoyed, make sure to check out our YouTube page and our Instagram at Lowell HS Live. Special thanks to the Lowell PTSA and Lowell Alumni Association. Tune in for our next edition of Lowell Live and enjoy your weekend. Our ending clip is Abby Marino's original song from the Lowell Idol 2019 talent show. This, this is Lowell, Lowell Live, Live signing, signing off. off. Thank <laughs> you.